the secretary said very strongly about working with. We've been working with them for many years. And we have the greatest mess anyone's ever seen. You look at the Middle East, it's a total mess, under your direction to a large extent. But you look at the Middle East, you started the Iran deal, that's a, another beauty, where you have a country that was ready to fall. I mean, they were doing so badly. They were choking on the sanctions, and now they're going to be actually probably a major power at some point pretty soon, the way they're going. But when you look at NATO, I was asked on a major show, what do you think of NATO? Now, you have to understand, I'm a business person. I did really well, but I have common sense. And I said, well, I'll tell you, I haven't given lots of thought to NATO, but two things. Number one, the 28 countries of NATO, many of them aren't paying their fair share. Number two, and that bothers me because we should be, yes, we're defending them and they should at least be paying us what they're supposed to be paying by treaty and contract. And number two, I said, and very strongly, NATO could be obsolete because, and I was very strong on this, and it was actually covered very accurately in the New York Times, which is unusual for the New York Times, to be honest. But I said, they do not focus on terror. And I was very strong, and I said it numerous times, and about four months ago, I read on the front page of the Wall Street Journal that NATO is opening up a major terror division, and I think that's great. And I think we should get because we pay approximately 73 percent of the cost of NATO. It's a lot of money to protect other people. But I'm all for NATO. But I said they have to focus on terror also. And they're going to do that. And that was, believe me, I'm sure I'm not going to get credit for it, but that was largely because of what I was saying and my criticism of NATO. I think we have to get NATO to go into the Middle East with us in addition to surrounding nations, and we have to knock the hell out of ISIS, and we have to do it fast. When ISIS formed in this vacuum created by Barack Obama and Secretary Clinton, and believe me, you were the ones that took out the troops. Not only that, you named the day. They couldn't believe it. They sat back probably and said, well, I Lester, can't believe it. They said, no, wait a minute. We've covered when they round. formed, When they formed, this is something that never should have happened. It should have never happened. Now, you're talking about taking out ISIS, but you were there and you were Secretary of State when it was a little infant. Now it's in over 30 countries. And you're going to stop them? I don't think so. 